friends, welcome to the video. If you don't know me, I'm Olivia and I review perfumes. So if you're into that thing, I would suggest subscribing so that way you can stay up to date with all the new content. And without further ado, let's get chatting today about another dupe house. So today we are going to be talking about oil perfumery. And oil perfumery sells dupes or inspired by fragrances of so many expensive fragrances. And when I say their repertoire is crazy, when I went onto their website, it was like, whew, like a huge list. So kind of any fragrance that you could be lusting after, they're going to have an oil perfume version of. So the nice thing about having an oil perfume is if you're the type of person who has very dry, sensitive skin, this will be a way that you can wear fragrance without continuing to exacerbate the problem. Uh, this is pure perfume oils. They are vegan and cruelty free. They're manufactured in France and they are a US based company. So let me tell you very quickly the ones that I got. I got um, their version of Mojave Ghost by Byredo, their version of Spiritus Doble Veni by Guerlain, their version of oh, Lipstick Rose, I think, right? Their version of Lipstick Rose by Frederick Mall. And I have two uh, of their Parfums de Marly Leighton. Um, got two, one for me and one is a gift. Because uh, I think my brother would like it. So that'll be going to brother. So I, <laughs> if you guys are like me, I watch tons of perfume review videos frequently. And Spiritus Doble Vini is all over fragrance, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, it's everywhere. And guys, when I tell you the big bottle is like $330, $350, um, and then like the extra size bottle is $550. Lord have mercy, no, 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 I, I, I can't get behind that. And so I had a little sample of that guy and I was really excited to see how close is this to the original. And so to give you an idea of what that smells like, it is a spicy, warm vanilla fragrance. And I would say that they smell very, very similar, if not identical. This costs $16, right? That's crazy to me. That's And you know, I do see other fragrance reviewers that are like, I think it's totally worth the price. And I'm like, Who, you got McDonald's money, honey. Damn, you got, oh. I, I, I don't have it like that. So I would rather have a $16 oil that smells very similar. And especially because it's not a particularly super unique fragrance in my opinion. I mean, is the performance good? It is okay, but it is not worth $550, sweetheart, I'll tell you that much. No, thank you. <laughs> so let's talk about the other ones. I, when I was in vacation in Paris, they had a Frederick Mall counter with all of the Frederick Mall fragrances, and I've had a hard time in Los Angeles finding where I can smell those at around me. You know, it's like I could go out of the way, but if anyone has been to Los Angeles, they know anything about Los Angeles, oh my god, it is a pain in the ass to drive from one side of the city to the other because of traffic. So I don't want to. So luckily when I was in Paris, they had everything all there. And their lipstick rose fragrance smells like a vintage powdery makeup bag. It is so good. And I know that scent profile is not for everybody. I totally understand why someone wouldn't care for it. But to me, it's like I'm flooded with memories. Like I'm flooded with memories when I smell it. But the thing about the Frederick Mall perfume spray is, I feel like a broken record, the white flowers in that, after some time, if I wear it on too hot of a day, Smell like pee pee on me. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> so, Lipstick Rose, their version, this oil, I don't know if it's just slightly less heavy on the white florals, but 
hallelujah, it does not go pee pee on me. <laughs> That's out of context. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Yay, it doesn't pee on me. Mm, weirdo. <laughs> but if you guys love the smell of a vintage makeup, like a powder puff or like a um, the L'Oreal lipsticks, I don't know if they still smell like that, but do you remember how they used to smell? That's, that's this in a fragrance, but it's, it's much less headache inducing in the oil format. So I'd much rather go for the oil format. If you guys haven't smelled Leighton by Perfumes de Marly, um, that's technically a part of their men's range, but that is a warm, sweet, spicy, vanilla, cozy fragrance. And I honestly think it's unisex. I've actually heard a lot of male reviewers talk about how personally it's a little too sweet to them. Um, I think that it's just perfectly, it, it leans masculine, it does. But I, I challenge you guys um, to try it out. And I have Leighton, a sample of the spray that I have been layering with this, and it gives it such beautiful projection. I would say that these ones are 95% similar. I would say the other ones are like dead spot freaking on. I would say that this is very close. It's not perfect, but I don't need it to be perfect because this smells fantastic. There's a reason that I have two of these. And last but not least, I have Mojave Ghost, which is um, by Byredo. And I, I've had my eye on Mojave Ghost. It's a very popular one in the fragrance world, but again, very expensive niche fragrance and it doesn't last. It does not last. So I'm not shelling out the money for it. I'm going to pay $16 and get the dupe. And I have it on my wrist here. This one is so refreshing. It is, it's a little zesty. It's a little sweet. It's a little tart. It's clean, almost like clean laundry, but not like cleaner product. It's not that citrusy. It's just got a little little tartness, a little uh, sweet tang in the beginning. Um, perfectly unisex, very clean, almost smells like luxury uh, hotel lobby. Just a, an incredible fragrance, but I, it doesn't last. It does not last. I have sampled that one. I've tried it on while I'm at the mall and I'll walk around and by the time I leave, like an hour later, it's gone. How are you going to pay over $200 for something that's not going to last an hour, one hour? So this one I'll say, I don't know the longevity on this one, but oils tend for me to stick better because I have drier skin and so the oil gives it a little base to actually like tack on to the skin. Uh, and you want to make sure that you're putting, you know, fragrance onto moisturized skin. But what's really cool about this, and I did not come up with this idea. Um, on TikTok, there's a gal that her page is called Smelly Hose Only. <laughs> so cute. And I love her content. She's, she's adorable. And what she did is she took a little bit of this, rubbed it in her hand, and put it through her hair. Oh, oh, kudos. I mean, I don't necessarily know if I would try that because my hair is platinum and the hard water here constantly makes my hair turn yellow and I need to bleach it again. But uh, yeah, so if you have dark hair, or you don't really care about it, like potentially changing color. I'm not saying that it does for sure, but I'm just not running the risk because I'm platinum, so. But what I like to do is, um, there are plenty of dupes of this in the spray format. So what I like to do is take this bad boy, put that on first, roll it all down my arms and my neck so that way I get a nice tacky base and then spray the fragrance on top of it so that way it amplifies and it actually sticks and it layers on nicely. Just because if you have moisturized skin, fragrance will stay better, it's just a fact. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my review of Oil Perfumery. Really cool dupe house. I love that they're a pretty generous size for 16 bucks and they have, like I said, they have so many options to choose from. The list just goes on and on and on. They have for men, they have for women, they have these discovery kits that you can get. You can get individuals or you can get an even bigger one than this. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head what the price is, but I'll, I'll say this much. I know a lot of people like to get incredibly nitpicky, like, oh, this didn't smell exactly 100% 
like the original and I'm like, calm down, it smells similar. And in the air, you, you know, when people experience your fragrance, are they gonna be sitting there with the original in hand and then like, this doesn't have as much cardamom. Ah, you're a fraud. No, no, that's not how it works. It's if you like that fragrance and you could go for something very similar to, and you would like to save an incredible absorbent amount of money, then go for it. But I just see too many times where people are like, that one wasn't absolutely as exact. And it's like, it is giving, it's giving what it needs to have gave, okay? And I know that there's some times where the dupe is just not, it's not, it's not it. But in my experience, the ones that I've tried, I've been very happy with. But then again, I'm only trying four fragrances. So up to your discretion. I do not work for them. I just tell you guys my opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I certainly enjoyed uh, talking to you about oil perfumery and I hope you guys subscribe. It helps the channel. I'm very close to monetization. And the nice thing about monetization is that I can take that money and literally put it back into reviewing fragrances of your choosing. So that leads me to one point. If you guys have any fragrances that you're like dying for me to try out, please comment them down below so that way I can kind of, you know, have some, some good ideas for videos. Even if it's just like, I'd like to hear your favorite um, citrus fragrances or what would be great for a date night. Tell me what you guys would like to watch. What kind of videos do you like? Like, let me know. You guys are like, you know, if you're a frequent uh, watcher of these videos, I want to give you videos that are like interesting, that you enjoy. Because I've been doing like houses lately, but I kind of feel like I'd really like to do a note series. So like my favorite vanillas, my favorite raspberry fragrances, my favorite um, spicy fragrances. So if you have ideas, pop them down below and I'll get out of here now. Bye guys.